welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. One thing we love here in Arlington is the arts, and we just cannot get enough of it. And now we do not have to, thanks to Cynthia Connolly. She is the special curator for um, Arlington Art Truck. Got it right? That's right. You work for Arlington Cultural Affairs, but mm -hmm. the Arlington Art Truck is your brainchild. It, it is. Uh, about three or four years ago, I had the idea of um, instead of being in a building, we would put the art, curated art project with the artist in a truck and go to where people convene. Which is great because, you know, we've had art centers, art spheres in places, but you know what? It's really hard for people to remember to go somewhere or totally. to mark their calendar. Uh, exactly. And the first time I saw and the Arlington Art on. Truck was at the Farmer's Market, oh, where great. there was a line of people. Oh, good. Yeah, really oh, good. Oh, that's really great. Yeah, well, that's the idea. was originally, um, well, I worked at the Farmer's Market here at a courthouse for 20 years with an organic grower, and it came to me, uh, the idea came to me thinking about how people really have the time to spend at a farmer's market. They go there and they want to spend time there and they want to talk to their friends and they want to talk to the farmers. And I realized that art would be a perfect place for that because that's where people do have the time to make and create, but also hang out and talk and think of new ideas. And um, so that's how the Arlington Art Truck started. It's interesting. It's like craft and making, and that's what you see at a farmer's market. And now you bring in this art concept and people really do love it. But it is making, even like, I guess now food and, and farming is part of this, it's all about hands and hand making. Right, well it's also about experiential things right. happening in life. Right. And so Arlington's Cultural mm -hmm. Affairs sponsors this. It does, it's, it's part of our programming. And part of the programming is bringing in artists. So tell me right. about some of the artists that you've had on the truck. So, um, well, uh, just this year, every year we have a different community partners and we have three to four artists in a season from April to October. So uh, right now we have Rachel Schmidt, who um, is from Washington, uh, from Silver Spring, Maryland. And her, um, our community partner this year is the Solid Waste Bureau. And we're talking about um, recycling, but also how to reduce our inevitable waste. Um, and um, so Rachel is really concerned about plastic, which I know you love to talk about plastic. Indeed. Uh, so she has uh, went on an artisan residency about three years ago to Taipei, Taiwan, and she was observing how much plastic there was and how much plastic there was in the food that she was eating. So she built an installation saving all of her plastic and then wrapping it in printed paper of the, of the um, fauna of ta Taiwan. Um, and so she saw by just piling up all that plastic how much plastic just one person consumes and it's single use and it just turns into garbage or gets recycled. So that's what we're doing for the Arlington Art Truck right well, now. I have to applaud Arlington Waste Management. I can be really critical sometimes, but the fact that they're showing support and taking this information to the community members yeah. is wonderful. What kind of reaction are you getting? Oh, it's so, f it's uh, kind of, it's amazing because people, you know, Arlington is a really smart community. And then um, just last week, you know, when we're doing this project and you set it up, people sort of wonder, what are they doing? And so you have to sort of, do you want to ma do some, make some art? Do you want to do this? And so we realized last week, we're like, do you guys want to make art or do you want to talk about recycling? And they're like, we want to talk about recycling. And so we, I've, we had some people who just sat around and talked for 45 minutes about how the, I didn't even know this, that there's communities now that have um, compost pickup that they're paying for pickup. Uh, a pro and so different neighborhoods just pay for it for their whole neighborhood. Um, I found out um, so many people want to know, you know, what's going on with the glass that's um, not being recycled through our single stream recycling. Right. Um, and they want to know what the answers are to that or how they can get it recycled or what's going on with that. And it's really interesting to talk about how recycling, um, and this is what we get into a lot, is it's part of a, like, it's a commodities market. And so it ebbs and the demand of these products ebbs and flows. What I think is really, really special about what you're doing with art is that, you know, things become tangible again. They don't become single use. You know, an art project that's made of any material becomes a treasure. So you're teaching people oh, to yes. treasure resources. And now, where do oh, artists nice. um, get together? and connect. So, you know, Arlington. artists, it's interesting. The whole DC area, artists, I've always found the best places that artists convene are really at art centers or um, so like the Columbia Pike Artist Studios or the Arlington Art Center 
or the um, gallery underground in the um, underground um, studios in Crystal, Crystal City. City. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so um, when you have artists and studios together, they really do uh, collaborate or they, you know, bounce off ideas with each other. And that's uh, always a really good fertile environment for creation. Which is why it's really important that Arlington's economic development recognizes and right, invests that's true. in the arts, right? It, that is, it's really important. So if you um, have big projects coming up in the future, uh, any big plans? Well, the Arlington Art Truck operates from April to October, so I am just 100% there. It's, we are doing what I call them activations, and okay. I'm doing something over 30 during that time, which is a lot. Oh my goodness. So that's that's on my plate now. And you're an artist too. Yourself. I am. I am an artist. So uh, I have been um, speaking. I spoke at the Hirshhorn in December and uh, about a book that I published 30 years ago about the DC punk music scene called Band in DC. Uh, and I do exhibitions on and off. Awesome. Well, if people want to learn more about you and definitely find out more about the Arlington Art Truck, how do they do that? They just go to arlingtonarts.org and there's a tab that says Arlington Art Truck and they can read about that and they can also read about everything else Arlington Arts does. And they can find you because you're always right. on the track. Right, right. Uh, so well, they can just find me anywhere in Arlington where you see the truck. Awesome. Which well, looks sort of like an ice cream truck, but it isn't. All right. We'll be on the lookout <laughs> for it. Thank you so much, Thank Cynthia. Thank you. And Thanks I hope you'll come back. Here. And, okay, and I will share I'll definitely us. come back. Perfect. Thank We're counting you. on it. I want to thank all of you for watching this edition of the Sustainable Scoop. I am Miriam Gennari. Back to the news desk.